Our weather radios default to voice alert mode. In voice alert mode, when this radio is activated by the weather service, it'll give you a five second alert tone for five seconds and then it'll come on and automatically talk and they'll tell you why they just alerted you. Tornado warning or whatever it is. That's voice alert mode and the radio defaults to that so you don't need to set that. You can set it to tone alert mode. Uh, tone alert, it would go deedle, 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 non-stop for about five minutes until you literally come over and push this button to find out what's going on. The old weather radios 20 years ago, they defaulted to that and it kind of was bothersome to people. So that's why nowadays it defaults to voice alert. A five second tone followed by the National Weather Service coming on and talking to you. There's one other alert mode on here, which is display mode. In display mode, the weather radio is not going to make any noise at all. And it's kind of dangerous to think about this. Tornado warning, and it's not going to make any noise. But display mode, it'll say tornado warning here, and the lights will light up indicating that a warning has been issued. The only time I've ever programmed a weather radio in display mode was for some nurses on the overnight shift, and they wanted a weather radio at the nursing station but they didn't want it to wake up everybody up and down the hallway at two o'clock in the morning. So be careful when you set your weather radio. Leave it in the default mode, which is voice alert, where you get about a five second tone followed by the voice of the weather service. And um, that's probably the best way to do it. Leave it set in voice alert mode, plug it in, leave it alone, it'll automatically run itself.